Why, why Omega and not Breitling? Because I know you're a Breitling guy too. Well, what was it about Omega that drew you in? So I knew about Omega prior to Breitling. And it was, it was kind of like an emotional attachment because it, okay. this was a watch that I did not think that I could ever obtain. So obtain the, 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 the thrill of the chase and the thrill of getting something that you never thought you could afford was really just a very just humbling moment for me, you know, to actually, actually obtain that. But yeah, shortly after I was able to get the, the Breitling, but the Omega had more of the, and the other thing was my, my fiance is a huge Olympics fan and she oh, loves, okay. she loves yeah. Omega. So that, that helped, <laughs> that helped to fuel that as well. Right so on. those, those two factors were definitely on, you know, uh, the front runners for me getting that watch. Okay. For sure. For sure. Very cool. Yo, so check this out. You did the Casio Chronicles. <laughs> and, and, and I'm not going to lie. I felt so bad for that F91W. It was it was pain to me, but it was very entertaining. That's funny. Uh, do you have a new one planned? And what it, why do you explain to people what that was, too, for people who are listening yeah. that haven't seen yeah. the Casio Chronicles? So the Cassio Chronicles was essentially um, my story on trying to, I was basically creating a story behind this $10 Casio and the fact that I couldn't, I couldn't destroy it. Right. I mean, it, it wasn't supposed to be a mini series. It was only supposed to be like a, uh, you know, one one video of me just doing a couple torture tests. I figured after I froze it and and boiled it in the water that it would probably be done. And there's the torture test. But this little watch put me through some real life trials and tribulations. <laughs> so wow. it was actually fun to make a make a mini series out of this of my struggles, real life struggles to try to kill this little watch and <laughs> i'll be honest with you i mean i had no idea how tough this watch was uh until what episode three or so when i finally was able to to, to break it down right. and then after yeah. that it was just kind of like man because you put me through so much trauma i'm gonna i'm gonna light you on fire i'm gonna put an axe through you you know i was like mad at this thing man i'm like you made me look silly and it was just fun, though, man, because it was able. I was able to involve my 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 family and have some special guests come in and make some appearances. Um, right, because then you like had a pellet gun, and your wife told you get rid of the pellet gun. You can't have a pellet gun. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so the whole BB gun and like, oh, you can't use a BB gun. There's babies around. Right. And then and then I saw Josh jogging in the park, and he's like, "What what are you doing here?" And I'm like, uh, "I'm just here jogging." He's like, "In jeans." He's like. You're not, you're not here to shoot that Casio because th there's babies around here. I'm like, what is everybody's obsession about these babies? And mm -mm -mm. it was a really just fun, fun mini series. And, um, you know, I was hoping it would become a little bit more popular than it did. But um, it, at the end of the day, the number one rule is just to have fun. And right. that whole series was so much fun that um, whether it got popular or not, the fact that you guys saw it. And yeah. It's 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 something that you know my family and I can enjoy for the rest of our lives. That was completely right. worth it, man. So that's cool. So any new ones planned, like P. Ross asked? <sighs> yeah. So as an artist, um, as you guys know, I, I, I used to do some landscape painting. Right. The Casio Chronicles kind of came about because I had that creative itch. I, I needed to do something creative. Uh, ergo that it's a wonderful life uh, skin mm -hmm. that I did during around Christmas time. I get these itches once in a while. So stay tuned. I think there, there could be, it all depends on um, how bad that itch is and how much I need to scratch it. So nice. How many right. Casios did you end up buying to film? The so whole I, series? I ended up buying five Casios oh, okay. mm. and I destroyed every single one of them. So about like 50, 60 <laughs> bucks. <laughs> Yeah, like 50 bucks. Um, but Man. actually, that wasn't the most expensive. Uh, uh, that wasn't the most expensive part of that show. I actually, during one of the uh, quote unquote stunts, yeah, I actually tied my iPhone up to a bungee cord and I had it in a plastic bag. 
And that was actually when um, my fiance flicked the watch out of the window. Oh, mm-hmm. right, right. So in order for me to do that footage, I had to throw the watch or the right. um, the phone out the window. Well, I guess I didn't have the phone attached securely Uh-oh. enough. Uh-oh. And when it fell down 20, 20 feet, it detached from the string. And, um, well, it landed face down. Uh. And this was during, like, the, the heat of... We're going to call it Rony Rona, um, just so you guys don't get demonetized. Right. Um, I, I, I come running down. I, I, I'll never forget the look on my fiance's face because she saw me with the whole bungee cord. She's like, what are you doing? Uh-huh. And when she saw me running down, she I think she knew exactly what I was doing. And oh. <laughs> I picked the phone up and it was completely shattered. Oh. Wow. And no stores were open. Um, and I'm like, oh, how do I call? Cause the phone's not working. Luckily she was home and I was able to use her phone. Um, so I had to get a replacement. Luckily I had insurance mm. and that was another hundred bucks for the deductible. Wow. So the Casio Chronicles all in all, I've definitely, um, I've, I've had to pay quite a few bucks to, to mm. wow. that. but again, completely worth it. Be very curious. entertaining. Very entertaining. Be curious Thank you very much, that. man. Would be curious to see the iPhone Chronicles.